Hello friends, welcome to Moonspell Tarot. So today we are doing a pick a card reading, finding out who is coming for you and specific details about that person. Who's coming into your life? What is their purpose for coming into your life? Is it romantic? Is it um, to do with your financial situation, your job, um, somebody who's going to be a friend? Who is going to be coming in your life for you? So I have three different decks here for you to pick through, and then I also have my tarot uh, deck over here on the side because I will be pulling some tarot um, in the beginning of each uh, reading, okay? So for pile number one, we have the Dream Oracle. For pile number two, we have the Alice in Wonderland Oracle. I'm just showing you guys example um, artwork of it so you could choose that way. And then for pile number three, we have the Angel Oracle. So you could judge off, you know, the artwork of the card, if the colors really speak to you, your favorite number, um, whichever pile is really resonating with you as a person, you could go, um, you know, judging off that so you could pick your personal pile that is resonating with you. There will be timestamps down below for you all to go ahead and jump to your reading whenever you would like to. And again, I am going to be pulling some tarot for this as well, but I just thought it would be something a little bit different to pick off of, um, you know, the specific Oracle deck with whatever like vibe you're looking for in your life instead of crystals this time. So um, I'm going to give you all a few seconds to go ahead and pick which pile is resonating with you. But first, let's go ahead and take a nice, good, deep breath. And then remember, your timestamps will be in the description down below. So. Welcome back, pile number one. So this is if you chose the Dream Oracle deck. So before I jump into the cards, I just wanted to remind you to please hit that subscription button down below if you are not already subscribed. And also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all the information is down in my description box, okay? So let's go ahead and shuffle a few tarot first, and then we will move on to your Oracle. Just to see who is coming in your life, what is their purpose, um, what will the relationship be like, what is the reasoning this person is coming into your life. So let's see. What is going on with you? Let's give everything a really good shuffle and see what is going on with you. Oops, okay, that one came flipping out at us, so we will jump to that. Okay, so first we have Wheel of Fortune. So I'm feeling like this person who is, you know, going to be coming into your life, somebody who is, um, you know, going to be coming your way, I feel like that they are you know, definitely somebody who is going to be helpful to you. They're going to be somebody who is going to add some luck to your life, someone who is going to bring you good fortune and, um, you know, just bring you like good vibes all around. I definitely feel like it is going to be a positive relationship and, um, you know, something that's just going to benefit you all around. 
So let's see what else. Yeah, definitely a very positive relationship so far, which is great. Okay, and then we also have the Hermit. Okay, so I'm feeling like maybe you've been a little bit of a hermit, you know, obviously, um, if you're watching this at the time the video was published, um, you know, we've all currently been in lockdown and there's just been a lot going on in that department. Um, you know, I definitely feel like we've all kind of been a little bit of a hermit, not leaving the house a lot. Um, and if you are leaving the house, like going to work or something like that, it's been like, you know, going to work and coming straight back home. And so it's been a little bit hard and I feel like many of us have also kind of like suffered from depression. And if you already have like depression issues, I feel like definitely staying at home can also, um, you know, sometimes make that a little bit worse, you know, not ever going out and seeing anybody. So I'm feeling like you've been a little bit of a hermit. You've been very closed off from everyone. You know, maybe you've kind of made it a point to not want to like see your family, see your friends. And so you've been really shut off from everybody. And so I feel like you're not necessarily like looking for a new relationship of any kind, whether that is like a romantic relationship, a friendship, um, even just an acquaintance in your life, um, you know, who's going to be adding some sort of value. But I feel like this person is going to kind of come along when you are least expecting it. I feel like they are going to add value to your life and add fortune and, you know, make you feel you know, good. It's going to be a very beneficial relationship for you, even though I feel like right, oops, right now you're not necessarily looking for one. I'm going to pick those up because I dropped those right away. Okay. So yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, this person is going to add fortune into your life and make you, you know, very happy and make you, you know, feel good about this decision. Okay. So we got that one coming out of this. Okay. So we have eight of swords reversed. So I'm feeling like that, you know, again, this person is going to add a lot of happiness. So this can be a romantic uh, relationship or even like a very close friendship that could, um, you know, develop over time. I'm feeling like this person, they have very good intentions. They're not, you know, they're not the kind of friend to stab you in the back and make you question your friendship with them. I feel like this person is definitely going to have your back. They are, you know, going to want to you know, definitely make you feel good. And they just have really good intentions. So they're a very positive, a very happy person, very loyal. And so I do feel like this is somebody who is definitely going to, you know, make your life a lot better and make you feel really good. So let's pull one more tarot and then we will look at your oracle as well. But yeah, I do feel like this person, it's going to be like a very, you know, positive experience. So, you know, this could be somebody that you meet at work. And if work is very stressful, you know, you might be happy to find like a friend at work or something like that. You know, I feel like it's going to be an overall very positive experience and kind of help you out of um, this like hermit um, feeling that you've been having this kind of like depression that you've been in for a while. I definitely feel like this person wants to, you know, add to your life. And we also have death reversed. So I'm feeling like also you know, even though this person is coming into your life and, you know, they're definitely going to add benefits and make you feel really good. I feel like this person also is allowing you to be yourself. I feel like this person understands that you have, you know, maybe gone through some depression, you've had some sadness in your life. And so they want to uplift you and make you feel good. They don't want to, you know, make you feel obligated to go out if you don't want to. They don't want to make you feel, um, you know, any particular way, like they're not going to force you to um, go out of your comfort zone. I feel like they're just going to want to be there for you and be understanding that you are, you know, struggling a little bit, you know, with, um, you know, not wanting to go out and maybe um, struggling if you like work from home or something like that. So I definitely feel like this person is going to be understanding and very loving to you, you know, very, um, just very like caring about you as a person, which I feel like sometimes can be a little bit hard to find that right off the bat, right? It's not always, um, you know, new, fresh relationships that you feel that very strong connection to, you know, I feel like those develop over time, but I feel like right away, you're going to see that this person is really like there for you and very comforting. So I could even see this being a romantic relationship. You know, you hit it off right off the bat with this person and because you are, 
you know, opening your heart up and opening your heart chakra up for more love, that's going to bring more positivity your way and more happiness. So I definitely could see this even being like a romantic partner for you, um, or even a friendship, you know, that's, you know, either way is beneficial, but I do feel like this could potentially be like a romantic partner for you if you're not with somebody. Um, and if you do have a partner that you're happy with, this could be like a friend who adds positivity to your life and, um, you know, helps you really feel good. So let's look at your Oracle as well to see what else is going on. Some more depth to the question. Okay, so we have key. Seek no further, your aha moment is at hand. So I'm feeling like, you know, maybe this is somebody that you, you know, maybe potentially already know, and maybe this is like going to be a romantic partnership presenting itself that you maybe hadn't realized before. Maybe this is like somebody that you work with or like a friend of a friend kind of situation. Um, I really do feel like this is potentially somebody that you may already know somebody that you have encountered already. Um, this might not be, I don't feel like it's maybe somebody you know very well, but somebody that, you know, maybe you cross paths with at work or, you know, like I said, a family friend or something like that. And I feel like you're going to have that aha moment because you're going to see like, oh, this person's been in front of my face this whole time and I didn't realize that they were going to be such a good friend or a romantic partner. And you could just like spark a conversation with this person, um, you know, from just, you know, maybe talking at work if you work together or, you know, maybe this person like compliments something you're wearing and you kind of bond over that or, you know, maybe this person finds out like a particular interest that you have and they also have that interest like movies or music or something like that. I definitely feel like the, you two will, um, you know, hit it off in a really beautiful way. You two will, um, you know, connect and kind of realize like, oh, we should have been friends or we should have been partners this whole time. And, you know, again, by inviting more love in your life and um, appreciating that, you know, you found somebody who is appreciative of you as a person and likes you for who you are, I definitely feel like that is going to be um, you know, opening your heart chakra for more love and raising your vibrations so you can invite more love into your life. You can invite more happiness and, you know, invite more love and personality into your life. I feel like that's going to be, um, you know, so important for you. And that's not something that we, um, you know, always find right away. So I definitely feel like it's going to really surprise you who comes into your life. It's I feel like it's going to be somebody that you know, uh, somebody that... Um, you know, maybe you weren't expecting before to be a friend. Maybe you guys seem like opposites. And so you never really, um, you know, approach them in that way. Right. So let's keep, oop, let's keep shuffling and see what else. Okay. So we also have airplane. So spread your wings and fly. So I feel like this is a reminder for you because you are, you know, in this hermit mode, you are, you know, maybe feeling a little bit down, a little bit depressed, just kind of wanting to like hide away from the world, not really wanting to be around a lot of people. Um, you know, I definitely feel like it's so important for you to step out of your comfort zone sometimes and not just, you know, kind of like wallow away and feeling sorry for yourself. And I feel like that's really hard to do, especially if you suffer with depression. But I feel like this person is going to help you step out of that shell. This person is going to encourage you you know, to take care of yourself. And even if they might not be pushy, like I, uh, you know, we spoke about a little bit ago with the death card about forcing you to do things outside of your comfort zone. I feel like this person is at least going to encourage you to be yourself and is going to encourage you to, you know, um, kind of step out of your comfort zone, comfort zone, but not force you to. So, you know, over time you might feel more comfortable doing certain things. So I definitely feel like this person is going to, you know, encourage you to, you know, maybe go out and get exercise, go out and, you know, be outside and get some of that vitamin D. I feel like this person is going to encourage you to do better because they really do care about you and they want you to be, you know, healthy and happy. So let's keep shuffling and see what else. Okay. 
We also have cat. Take care of yourself. Trust that if you do, you'll always land on your feet. So again, I just like we spoke about with the airplane card, I feel like it's really important for you to take care of yourself. I feel like that you're really struggling with that. I am feeling some, you know, some depression coming off the cards. I'm feeling like a sense of solemnness, a sense of sadness, um, a sense of just like not feeling right. And so I do feel like you're, you know, you're not really probably eating the best. You're eating, you know, pardon me, some things that, you know, don't make you feel good. Maybe you're eating too much meat, um, you know, eating too much dairy, too much pop, something like that. I feel like you're definitely, you know, kind of like blocking your own well-being by eating very unhealthy, maybe partaking in unhealthy habits like smoking, um, not getting enough sleep, stuff like that. I definitely do feel that from the cards. I do feel like you're not really taking care of yourself. And this new person that's coming into your life, this new, you know, really beautiful relationship, I feel like that's going to encourage you to, you know, eat better, feel better, you know, go out and get some exercise and really just like overall take care of yourself. I feel like that is you know, definitely on this person's mind, they want you to feel good and they want you to, you know, feel better just in general. I feel like that's super important for them. So let's keep shuffling and see what else, because I feel like I'm definitely feeling that vibe that this person wants you to feel good and just feel happy and overall just like better. Okay, so we have purse wallet, pursue your true wealth. So I feel like this person also is going to encourage you in the um, you know, employment field in your career. Um, if you are a creative person, I definitely feel like they're going to encourage you to, you know, work on your creativity. So maybe that can become a full time job for you someday. I feel like this person is going to pursue you to do something that you really want. They are going to um, push you and, you know, really want you to do better and I feel like that's another thing like with the hermit I'm feeling like you know maybe you're unhappy with your job um you know I feel like also with the lockdown many of us have been very like unhappy with our jobs our careers you know many companies reacted very poorly to that decision and you know if you work for a big business um especially you know I feel like that we often you know are unhappy with the way uh, large businesses treat us. So I definitely feel like you're kind of like unhappy with your career. You're unhappy with your job right now. And so I feel like it's really important for you to, um, you know, I feel like you just want to feel better. You want to do better. You want to have a happier life. So I definitely feel that from the cards. I feel like that you are, you know, going to be a happier person once you meet this person, because I feel like they are going to want you to like pursue your true dreams and pursue the best life that you can possibly have. Um, you know, which is really like a beautiful thing. We don't always meet people that want us to be happy. Sometimes, you know, we have, have friendships, have relationships that, you know, they only want something from us. They don't want to encourage us to be better. So I feel like it's a really beautiful thing that you are going to have somebody in your life who really wants you to do well and really has that like at the number one thing in their mind. So let's pull another oracle to see what else, because I'm just getting like so many really great vibes from this reading, like so many really beautiful thoughts and just so much happiness that I just, I like feel like there's so much more to find out about this person because this is like a very positive like reading. I feel like it's just like exuding happiness. We also have guide follow in the footprints of greatness. So, you know, again, I feel like this person just definitely wants you to be happy. They want you to, you know, um, kind of follow the beat of your own drum and move on to like a career or a lifestyle that's going to make you happy. And so, you know, I feel like that they are going to encourage you to do better. They are going to encourage you to just like feel better in general. I feel like that's like the overall vibe of this reading. This person just wants you to be very happy. So let's pull one more oracle just to see exactly what else, you know, because again, I'm feeling like this is such a beautiful, positive reading. So we will do one more oracle. Okay. And then lastly, we have elevator rise above. So, you know, I do feel like this relationship is going to cause you to rise above these negative feelings that you have about yourself and um, kind of make you rise above this like hermit 
thing that has been going on with you, this depression, this sadness, this feeling of not really wanting to, you know, be around anybody. I feel like it's been really hard for you and it's something that you, you know, even though like when you're home and kind of like away from everyone else, it might be something that doesn't seem bad at the time, but I feel like you're missing out on a lot of happiness and a lot of joy. So, um, you know, I feel like this person is just going to want you to rise above and they're going to want you to do better and be happy and overall just like a happy person and overall just doing really well and so again i'm feeling like this person is going to bring so much good fortune into your life so much happiness you know a better career more money um and again i do feel like this is somebody that you might already possibly know um or maybe just like you see them in passing very often maybe they like work somewhere or you work somewhere that they frequent very often or something like that and i feel like it's going to be a really big surprise for you when the opportunity presents itself um and i feel like this person is going to see like a spark in you and that's what like attracts them to you they're going to see like a spark of creativity a spark of um determination in you and so that's what really attracts them to you because they see what you can be and they just want to like encourage you to do better and they want to love you and just make you feel really good so i do feel like this is a very positive relationship i do kind of feel a little bit more like it is more of a romantic relationship but if you already have a romantic partner this can also be a friendship um you know i think everybody does need a very positive friend who you know, helps us through those hard times. So, you know, even if you do have a romantic partner, this can also be a friend as well. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you in any way, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information, again, is in my description box, my emails and everything, and my rates and everything are down there. So thank you so much, and I hope you all have a great day. Welcome back pile number two. So this is if you chose the Alice in Wonderland deck. So before I jump into the cards, I just wanted to remind you, please hit that subscription button down below and also that notification bell if you are interested in seeing daily pick of cards and daily morning readings just to see how our day is going to go. So let's go ahead and shuffle some of our tarot first and we will do the oracle after just to see like who this person is coming in your life, um, you know, exactly who they are and what their intentions are. So let's go ahead and give the cards a really good shuffle and then we will see who this person is. All right. Who is this person? What do we need to know about them? What are they going to do to benefit this person? What do we need to know, Spirit? Okay, so first we have a Knight of Pentacles reversed. So I'm feeling like right off the bat, this person is, you know, I feel like this person is going to come into your life with a lot of love and a lot of caring, um, you know, a very like caring and loving attitude, I guess is the best way to put it. I feel like this person is, you know, coming at a time when you really need them and they're very like understanding of, you know, your situation right off the bat. You know, I feel like this is somebody that you feel like you could confide in right away. You know, maybe this is just somebody that you meet at work and you're just kind of chit-chatting with them and then it blossoms from there. I definitely do feel like this is somebody that's coming into your life when exactly you need them. You know, maybe, um, you know, you're going through a hard time. And so this person is like, I feel like sent to you exactly when you need a friend exactly when you need somebody to you know help you out and like listen to what you have to say and they're very you know kind and understanding so let's pull some more tarot to see who this person is Ooh. okay so these i'm gonna pick up because it's a lot of cards <laughs> these are a little bit newer so i'm a little bit breaking them in a little bit still so they want to slip out of my hands easy Ooh. Okay, so we will do Six of Cups. Okay, Six of Cups reversed. So again, I'm feeling like this person is, you know, 
I feel like they're just coming at a good time. And again, I'm feeling like they're very understanding. They want to make you happy. They really care about you as a person. And I feel like also that is reciprocated back to them. I feel like you two hit it off very well. Um, you two are just like very understanding of each other's problems and each other's um, woes in life. And so I feel like you both are very like supportive of each other. And so I do feel like this person is like a new friend coming into your life. And, you know, again, I do feel like that they are coming at a time when you really need a friend. You really need, you know, someone there for you. You need someone who has your back, someone who's going to be like understanding of, you know, you. Because, you know, I'm feeling like maybe right now you are going through some struggle with like maybe a partner or like family and you're really having a hard time, um, you know, maybe to getting to know like friends or something like that. Maybe you're new to an area, you just moved or something like that. And so I feel like it's really hard for you to get to know people. So let's keep shuffling and see what else. Okay, a lot of reversals for you. Okay, so we also have four of pentacles reversed. So I'm feeling like this person is very like genuine, very kind, um, not the kind of friend that you have to like watch behind your back. I'm feeling like this person is just going to fit like perfectly into your life and add a lot of love, add a lot of blessings, um, really just make you feel good all around and, um, you know, add so much like happiness into your life. So I am getting the vibe that, you know, maybe you're new at a job or you just moved and you don't have any friends where you live um, or not a lot of contacts where you live. So you're kind of struggling. Um, maybe you're fresh out of a relationship and you just feel very, um, you know, down. I'm feeling like maybe you, you know, you potentially just maybe like lost someone really important to you. And so you kind of feel lost and you feel like, you know, your life is kind of like on fire. So you're you know, maybe not necessarily looking for a new friend, but I feel like your guardian angels are definitely sending you somebody exactly when you need it. Someone who's very genuine, very kind, very understanding of like what you've been through. Um, maybe they've been through a similar situation and they could be like your confidant. They could, you know, um, be very like good and kind to you and add a lot of happiness to your life. So I do definitely feel like, you know, this person is very like understanding. So let's keep shuffling and see what else. Okay, so we have six of pentacles. So I'm feeling like this person is, I feel like they're a lot of fun to be around as well. I feel like it's not just the fact that they, you know, the fact that they're really kind and really giving and understanding. I feel like they are wanting to kind of help you like forget about your previous issues. And so they, you know, want to like host movie nights and um, do things for you that will make you kind of like take your mind off of, you know, your issues at hand. I feel like this person is definitely um, a very fun person to be around. They probably have like a really great sense of humor. Um, someone who's definitely just like very enjoyable and, you know, just very lighthearted, right? You know, so I feel like this is definitely like a very positive relationship and something that's going to make you feel really good and help uplift your spirit. So yeah, I do feel like this person on top of being very like understanding and, uh, you know, brought into your life exactly when you need them. I also feel like they're just like really fun. They're just like a fun person. They, you know, know how to make you laugh. They know how to, you know, light up the room and really, um, you know, bring a lot of happiness into your life. Cause I do really feel like, um, you know, you're kind of going through some, personal trauma right now, some personal issues, you know, like I said, maybe a breakup or you just moved or you feel very like out of place. So I definitely feel like you need some laughter and, um, you know, joy in your life. So let's do one more tarot and then we will start um, looking at your oracles as well. Okay. So lastly for tarot, we have two of swords. So I'm feeling like this relationship, even though um, you know, it is very enjoyable. It's came at a time when you really need it. I do feel like eventually this person, um, will leave your life. I don't see this being like a very long lasting relationship. Um, and it's not because you two don't get along or something like that. I do feel like, you know, there may be an opportunity where you or this person has to move or leave jobs or something like that. And so, 
you know, maybe you just don't see this person as much anymore. Um, you know, maybe somebody entered in a new relationship and they just don't have as much time, something like that. I definitely do feel like, you know, this relationship eventually will come to an end. Um, even though that's not necessarily a negative thing, I feel like no matter the relationship that we have in our life, I feel like there is a reason for it and we do, you know, learn something from it. So, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with, um, you know, having a friend for a time that adds a lot of happiness and a lot of benefits to our life, you know, so I do, again, feel like this person was brought to you by your guardian angels, um, you know, whoever above is looking out for you knows that you need a friend, and I feel like they are going to be, you know, inviting this person into your life, someone who's very caring and giving, someone who's very fun, but eventually this friendship, I do feel like will end, um, you know, due to something like, you know, someone moving or something, like I said, and, you know, like I said, not necessarily a negative thing, but it does happen, right? So I do feel like that this person is brought into your time, into your life for like a certain amount of time to serve a particular purpose, and then they will be gone, um, like when you don't need them anymore. So let's do your oracle to see what else we can find out about this person. What do we need to know about this person? They're very giving, very kind, a very fun person. They're not going to be in their life forever. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person? Okay, so first we have set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan the right direction. Okay, so I feel like this is a very interesting card to pull because I feel like this person through their help with like your mental health, um, you know, bringing a lot of joy into your life by, you know, being kind of like a very fun person to be around, being very kind. I feel like this person is going to set you back on your right track in life. They're going to help you um, kind of like return to your old self. You know, maybe you lost yourself in an old relationship, or like I said, um, you know, maybe you moved and you just really don't feel like yourself. You're really having a hard time you know, regaining exactly who you should be. So I definitely feel like this person is going to help you like return to yourself, help you feel better, help you just like do better all around. And so I feel like that this relationship is going to help you return um, to that past self, that person who you want to be. I feel like you kind of, you know, lost yourself a little bit through some of this like trauma that you've been through. And so I feel like that's why this person is coming and going into your life um, you know, this friendship will last for a while, but eventually it will be gone because you only need this person for a while. And then after that, you know, they have to be that help and that um, that good friend to somebody else who really needs it. So uh, that's why I do feel like this person is brought to you by like your guardian angels because they understand exactly what you need right now. We also have all must have prizes trying to please everyone. So I'm feeling like also what could, you know, add to your stress, uh, because like we discussed with Knight of Pentacles reversed, that you do feel like your life is kind of like on fire, you are really struggling, uh, because you just have so much going on, a lot of trauma, a lot of hurt, um, hurt feelings, and a lot of depression, I do feel like that maybe you have, you have that need to like, please everybody, and that could just come from you being like a parent, or, um, also, we see that a lot in, like, water signs. Um, we see that a lot if you are, like, a middle child as well um, that need to, like, take care of everybody, that need to um, always make sure that everyone's good. And so when you do that, you're not taking care of yourself. You're not worrying about yourself. Um, you know, people. I feel like that you put yourself last and you're always showing people that it's okay to put yourself last. And so I feel like that's what's really hurting you and that is what is um, kind of going to harm you in the future if you don't learn to kind of like respect yourself. And so I feel like that's why this person is coming into your life to show you that it's okay to, you know, be good to yourself and that it's okay to do things for yourself and not always feel like you have to please everybody else. So, you know, I feel like this person, like, again, they're putting you back on the right track. They're also showing you that it's okay to sometimes be selfish and say, like, no, I can't do that today because I feel like you're always putting yourself last. Um, you know, you're not always taking care of yourself. You're kind of like burning the candle at both ends. So 
this person is like teaching you not to do that anymore. So let's keep on shuffling and see what else we can learn about this person. Okay, so we have follow the white, white rabbit, curiosity meets opportunity. So, you know, again, I'm feeling like, you know, maybe right now in your life, you're not really looking for a friend. Um, you know, maybe you're just going through so much turmoil that you're not necessarily like looking for someone else in your life. And so I feel like, you know, if this opportunity does present itself, I do feel like maybe potentially you might kind of like write it off because you're not necessarily like wanting a new friend. Um, maybe you just feel like, well, that's another person I'm going to have to take care of, uh, something like that. And so I feel like, when this opportunity presents itself for a new friend, make sure you jump on it and don't just kind of let this person, you know, pass through your fingers because I do feel like this new friendship is going to add a lot of benefit to your life. This person is going to help you like realize exactly who you should be and to be good to yourself and also like put you back on this right life course that you should be on so you can pursue what you want to pursue in life you can be happy um i definitely feel like this person is going to do that for you so you know maybe you feel like you don't want any more friends you're kind of like put off by maybe someone trying to be like your friend at work or something like that so you know just make sure that you are opening yourself up to opportunities and friendships because I do feel like someone very positive is coming into your life and they you know they want to be friends with you they want to spend time with you they want to help you through these life choices and I feel like this is kind of like divine intervention in a way because I do really feel like it is like your guardian angels sending you this person because you really need this right now in your life so make sure that you're not you know turning away friendships and you know turning away the opportunity to get more people um just because you're hurting as hard as that might be sometimes i do feel like potentially you really do like need a new friend friend right now so let's keep on shuffling and see what else okay so we also have belong to your own dream create your own life so again, I feel like this person is just going to help you remember your dreams and remember your aspirations and, um, you know, not let negativity drag you down. Like I said, I do feel like maybe you've gotten out of a bad relationship or, you know, maybe you've got out of a toxic relationship with like a family member or something like that that's really held you back in your life. And, um, you know you just you have that need to take care of everybody and maybe you are like learning to cut these people out so i feel like this person is just going to be like a very important reminder that it's okay to take care of yourself it's okay to sometimes be selfish that you deserve the life you know that you have and you deserve the life that you want so i do feel like this person is coming at a really good time and is going to be like a very positive influence to you so let's do one more oracle um, but I do feel like overall, this is like a very positive relationship. Somebody who's adding so much like beauty and love to your life. Okay, so let's do one more. Okay, so we have law is not justice, rules that are not fair. So I'm really feeling the vibe that maybe you have put a lot of yourself into another person. Um, just seeing that from like set your course, all must have prizes. I'm really getting the vibe that you have put so much of your own light into another person. And in a way, it's kind of not been fair. Part of me, it hasn't really been fair to you. You know, life hasn't fully been fair to you in that way. Um, because you feel like you've had to put so much of yourself into someone else, into someone else's well-being that you kind of forgot to take care of yourself. And so, you know, maybe now this relationship has ended or is ending, or you're kind of at like a crossroads where you feel like you know that you can't do this anymore. And so you're really struggling with this decision. Um, like we spoke about with Knight of Pentacles and also Six of Cups reversed. You feel like your life is on fire. You feel like you can't get out of this situation you just feel very unhappy and so I do feel like that 
it's so important that you allow this person to come into your life like we spoke about with follow the white rabbit don't let like a missed opportunity just because maybe you're like in a bad mood and you don't want to talk to anybody i do feel like a very positive and very beautiful friendship is coming your way someone who's going to be very understanding and you know very like loving of you and just appreciative of you and i do feel like you know this is coming at a time when you really need it. So I do feel like your guardian angels are really looking out for you. And again, I do feel like this is just a short-lived relationship. This is just somebody that is coming into your life temporarily to add value, to make you feel better, to show you that it's okay to be better and, you know, do better in your life and return, you know, back to your life course. Cause I do feel like you're kind of missing out on some things in your life because you are too busy, um, you know, giving your life to somebody else, right? So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in my description box. My email and rates and everything are down there. So thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. Welcome back pile number three. So this is if you chose the angel oracle cards. So before I jump into the cards, I just wanted to remind you to please hit that subscription button down below if you are not already subscribed. And and also uh, hit that notification bell if you are interested in seeing daily pick cards and also uh, daily tarot readings in the morning just to see how our day is going to be. So let's go ahead and do uh, your tarot first and we will look at the oracles next. So let's see um, who is coming into your life, what exactly their purpose is, why they are coming into your life. So let's give everything a good shuffle and we will see. Who is this person, spirit? Um, what is the purpose of them coming into your life? What is the reason why they are coming? Who is this person? Okay, so first we have two of cups. Okay, so I'm feeling like this person is definitely going to add a lot of like love into your life a lot of you know happiness a lot of really good and positive feelings i'm feeling like this is going you know right off the bat to be a very like positive relationship something that is definitely going to benefit you as a person and not add any like sorrow or any like unhappiness to your life um you know i'm definitely feeling like this is a very you know a very positive relationship and also like on this particular tarot set um, or deck, um, we do see the cancer sign on this card as well. So I'm feeling like this person is going to be like a very sensitive, a very kind individual, somebody who is, you know, probably like a really good listener. Um, you know, someone that is going to be like a true friend, someone who's very understanding. So I'm feeling like some water signs potentially in their chart or in their like sun, uh, moon or ascending house, very like heavy water in their um, astrology. So let's pull some more and see what else. Okay, we also have ten of pentacles reversed. So I'm feeling like this person is coming into your life at a very, um, you know, a very hard time, like when you really do, you don't know, need somebody. I'm feeling like they are like sent to to you by you know your guardian angels um they're really looking out for you and so i'm feeling like this person is coming at a time where you're really struggling um and that could be like from you um you know maybe like losing a relationship losing a friendship um maybe you had to cut someone off from like a toxic relationship something like that so i do feel like this person is coming into your life that's going to add a lot of benefits um uh, make you really happy um be a really great listener someone who's very like sensitive and like loving and understanding I feel like is definitely um you know coming your way so let's see what else we need to know about this person okay we also have seven of swords reversed so I do feel like this person also is gonna come at like a very unexpected time so you know you might meet them somewhere that you normally wouldn't like meet a friend you know maybe shopping um maybe at work even. Uh, so I feel like this is coming at a time when it's really like unexpected for you. It's not going to be, um, 
you know, it's not like in an opportunity where you would meet friends, like at a party or something like that. I definitely feel like this person is going to kind of come like stumbling into your life when you least expect it. But again, they're going to add a lot of benefits. So make sure that, you know, if you do meet somebody out and about or maybe at work and you're not necessarily like looking for more friends, you're kind of, um, you know, because I feel like there may be a lot going on in your life. Maybe you're not really like exactly like looking for a lot of friendship right now. I do feel like it's going to benefit you to, um, you know, actually like give this person a chance, give this person the time of day. Um, even if you don't really feel like talking, cause I do feel like this person is going to add, uh, you know, so many benefits to your life. So yeah, I really do feel like, um, you know, this person is going to kind of come at a time where, you know, it's, it's really like, not what you're expecting, right? It's not going to be, um, you know, at a place where you expect to meet a friend, I feel like. Okay, and we also have Six of Swords Happy. So I'm feeling like you are harpy, sorry. Uh, I'm feeling like you definitely are really struggling. I feel like that you have, you know, maybe just gotten out of a really toxic relationship, whether that would be like romantic or a friendship even, or a relationship with like a family member or something like that. Um, you know, I feel like that you feel in a way like stabbed in the back. You feel like this person, you know, really did you wrong and was not, um, you know, being a good friend to you. I definitely feel like you feel hurt in that way. You feel, um, very sad. And so that is why I feel like this person is going to come you know, stumbling into your life because they really, um, you know, they're meant for you at this time when you're really struggling. And so, you know, I do feel like I said, the guardian angels are looking out for you, your personal guardian angels. Um, you know, they want you to be happy and they want you to find, you know, a relationship that is going to benefit you. So let's pull one more tarot and then we will look at your Oracle cards as well. Okay. So we have uh, king of swords. So again, I'm feeling like that you are feeling very like guarded in your life right now. You're not really, um, you know, particularly looking for friends. And I feel like that's just because you feel like stabbed in the back. You know, maybe you feel like you can't really trust anybody. You're just not really willing to like put your heart out right now for someone. But, you know, again, because I do feel like this person is going to add so much benefit to your life and is going to you know, make you feel really good and really like uplift your spirit. I feel like it's important to, in a way, let that guard down and allow love into your life, you know, and not just, um, you know, pass up a really great opportunity uh, because you're feeling angry. And so, you know, that can be very hard. But again, you know, if you are out and about somewhere and you do happen to come across somebody who is maybe being very friendly with you or maybe a new person at your job or something like that. Um, you know, don't skip out on that opportunity because I do feel like this person is going to add a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, um, a lot of really great talks, you know, helping you through your situation. So make sure that you don't, you know, um, let this opportunity pass you up because it is, you know, I feel like often it can be like a once in a lifetime friend that you meet or a once in a lifetime opportunity that you meet a friend that really does like care about you, right? So let's check your oracle to see what else we can learn about this person. Okay. Okay, so first we have cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there is an abundance for all. You have to, you have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others with cooperative partnerships. You can accomplish anything. So I feel like also, you know, on top of this person being a really great listener and a great friend, this could be somebody that, you know, can help you in your career opportunities with your financial help, something like that. You know, so maybe this person at some point, you two may go into business together, um, you know, or if you have, if you're like looking for another job or maybe this person has a similar job to what you want, um, you know, this person might be able to open that gateway into you, you know, um, finding another job, something that would make you happy. So I definitely feel like, um, it's good to like cooperate, uh, with the universe right now, because again, I'm feeling like your heart is very guarded. Um, you just kind of feel alone. Even on this King of Swords card, uh, we do see the Capricorn 
uh, symbol, which I'm a Capricorn, and, um, you know, we can be very hard-headed sometimes if we don't want to talk to somebody. Um, I feel like we don't want to do it, so I feel like that's, you know, that could definitely be you um, if you have, like, a earth sign in your sun or moon or very heavy in your chart. Um, but one thing that I will say is water and earth signs, I feel like, work really well together. Um, they tend to be very compatible, and so... I do feel like it would benefit you to cooperate with this person and, you know, be understanding that they just want to be your friend and they just want to help you. And they were sent to you by your guardian angels, um, you know, to help you. So make sure that you are, you know, acknowledging that and allowing them to be your friend and not just kind of brushing them off, which I feel like might be your first uh, thought to do so. We have clean energy food. When you fuel your body with healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. So to help attract more positivity into your life, make sure that you're eating really healthy. You're drinking a lot of water, um, you know, putting positive and good things into your body. Um, you know, try to stay away from too much dairy, too much meat, um, you know, maybe too many sweets or pop or something like that. Make sure that you are only inviting healthy things into your body so you can raise your vibrations and open up your heart chakra, open up your crown chakra for more love and more like knowledge coming your way. Because again, I do feel like this person, um, you know, you may start a business with them or they might help you get a new job or something along those lines. I do feel like they are going to present you with some sort of like positive business opportunity. So make sure that you are opening yourself up for that by taking care of your body. We also have dreams of abundance as you sleep. God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So I do feel like that's also very important. Um, you know, you may be having dreams, uh, very vivid dreams that... Um, you might not exactly understand what they mean right now, but it's always really great if you remember what your dream is to write it down. Um, you can always find a lot of information online. There's also so many like really valuable dream books. I will put a couple that I personally enjoy in the description box down below if you're interested um, in doing that. I feel like it's very important to write down your dreams because I do feel like that you're in a really hard time in your life. Maybe some of your dreams are you know, pointing you in a certain direction are telling you to do this. And that's also like your guardian angels. That's the universe telling you exactly what you need to do in your life right now. Um, kind of nudging you towards a more positive direction. So make sure you're writing down your dreams and also like Googling them or reading about them um, just to kind of help you. Your dreams are like you know, your deepest desires, your innermost thoughts. So make sure that you are you know, acknowledging your dreams and, you know, um, keeping tabs about them because I do feel like they, they are our innermost thoughts, right? And so they are exactly what we want in our life. And so if you want to manifest a certain type of life or you, if you want a certain type of life, um, just make sure that you're, you know, recording your dreams so you can do that. So let's do another Oracle just to see. I feel like your reading is very interesting. I feel like it's kind of more about you and like more about the struggle you're going through. Um, because I feel like definitely, um, you know, I feel like you have some things that you need to work out before this person is going to come into your life. So we have attracting, not chasing anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because the fears of underlying chasing energy instead attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. So I feel like that's another really great card for you because I feel like that you are, you know, going through kind of a hard time. You are kind of putting out like angry energy, desperate energy into the world. And so you're not attracting positivity. You're not attracting love into your life. So make sure that you are putting out positive thoughts, positive energy, um, and love into the universe so you can attract that back to you. You know, again, we talked about eating um, a healthy diet, um, writing down your dreams, making sure that you're not passing up valuable friendships. So I feel like that um, it's really important for you to attract that by being a more happy and positive person, 
by, um, you know, acknowledging your dreams and acknowledging that, you know, maybe you're not being the best to your body right now. So I feel like that that would really help you and benefit you a lot as a person. So let's do one more oracle just to finish out your reading and see if we can find, um, you know, a little bit some more out about this person. But I really do feel like you are going to attract this person um, through being more positive and being positive yourself and, you know, learning to let go of this you know, these negative feelings that you're having in your life, because I do, um, I'm getting the vibe that you're holding on to something that's really like hurting you. And perfect. Okay, let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So, Again, I'm just feeling like that you're holding on to a lot of guilt, a lot of sadness, a lot of negative energy. And so I feel like to attract more love into your life, this very like positive person, um, which, you know, again, can be a friend, it can be a romantic relationship, whatever you're personally looking for. I do feel like this person is going to come into your life and make you feel really good and add so much just like positivity into your life and so much happiness and joy. Um, so just learn to like let go of negativity, let go of jealousy, let go of hate, whatever is like holding onto your heart and not allowing you to like receive what you need in your life. I feel like that's so important that you learn to let it go and learn to, um, you know, just get rid of it. I feel like that's so important for you. And I feel like once you learn to let this go, you're going to be inviting more love into your life and you are in turn just going to be, you know, so much more happy and feel so much better about your life in general. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps me out a lot. Also, again, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of the information is in my description, um, my email, and my rates and everything are down there. So thank you so much, and I hope you all have a great day.